is going to be my first of many makeup tutorials, among other things, here on YouTube. Um, I figured the best way to kick things off would be to do something that I'm comfortable doing. So this tutorial is going to be on how to rock the mulberry lip tones. Okay, so the first thing I always like to do is to put some kind of moisturizer on my face. Uh, the one I'll be using today is by Garnier. It's a BB cream, Skin Renew. I use the medium dark tone. Obviously, if you have a lighter skin complexion, use the lighter one. Um, this is great because it brightens your skin, it's moisturizing, and it helps to even out your skin tone. So I take some on my finger. I'm just going to put a few dabs here. Always rub in an upward circular motion on your face and downwards on your neck. So you can go ahead and rub this everywhere on your face, under your eyes, on your eyelids, cheeks, uh, basically just anywhere that needs cream. So <laughs> right, you want to try to keep everything really neutral um, for your day to day. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my concealer to cover up any kind of imperfection. My skin actually isn't as clear in real life, but on the screen it looks pretty good right now. So I'm using a Pro Longwear Concealer. It's a liquid concealer by MAC. I'm just gonna try and cover up anywhere that you can see, you know, a few blemishes. Put that on the sides of your nose, under your nose here. Um, again, you can kind of dot this along. I'm going to use an eyelid primer, but you can kind of dab that along the top of your lid as well. With the concealer, you want to pat that on and not rub it in. If you rub it, you risk exposing the blemishes that you're trying to cover. Okay, um, after that, I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyelid primer. I'm using a paint pot, again by MAC. Oh, there you go. It's called Painterly. It's a really neutral color, but it's just going to add a little bit more coverage for the redness that's coming out on my eyelid, and it's going to help eyeshadow stick a little bit better. I tend to get oily in my forehead, my nose, and my chin. If you want to get rid of that shine, there's this great product uh, called Matte Cream. It's also by MAC. Just dab that on the spots that would be shiny or that risk shining through. And you can go ahead and just kind of pat that on. You can already see from my nose, the shine is completely gone. Okay, from here, um, I like to use the MAC Studio Fix. It's a powder foundation. It comes with a little application pad in here. This is super convenient to carry with you for your day to day. The little pad and you're rubbing it down. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows first. Uh, I'm using an angled brush here, very thin angled brush, and browsings. It's by Benefit. I'm just going to dust that in there. Okay, so for your eyebrows, um, follow your natural shape. Um, once you're satisfied with your eyebrows, you can go ahead and um, start with your eyelids. I'm going to be using these three colors here. Um, this is vanilla, espresso, and bamboo. Sweep vanilla over my whole eyelid, starting in the middle. This is kind of like, I don't know, a light pressing motion. You're not necessarily sweeping it over your eyelid. Just kind of pushing it in there. 
you're going to go ahead and push it even right up to underneath. You know, you fill the hollow of your eye. So right under your brow bone, you're going to fill it with this vanilla uber neutral color. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, from here, I'm going to pick up the same angled brush that I was using to do my eyebrows. Uh, I'm going to take the espresso color and I'm going to be pushing that into my lash line. So basically, if you picture, you would be putting on eyeliner after this. You just want to make this line a little bit thicker than what your eyeliner is going to be. Um, okay, so you see right now it looks pretty natural. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to trace the bottom of my lash line here. Don't go past where your lashes naturally thin out. Okay, that's just going to open up your eye a little bit. Now using um, a black eyeliner. You really don't want to go thick. You just want to press that into, you know, that little ledge where your eyelashes are sitting. I'm not putting this on the bottom lash. I'm going to go ahead and start highlighting. I'm going to use this. It's called Fantastic Frost. It's a cream color base by MAC as well. Um, I'm going to apply this with my fingers. So here you're going to be highlighting your cheekbone, cheekbones and underneath your brow bone. So here, I'm just going to dab that on so it gives you a, a higher cheek. So you're dabbing that on just right on top. And I'm going to put that right underneath the corner of my brow as well. I like using my fingers a lot. We're going to go ahead and put our mascara. So this is the Hoot and Naughty Lash by MAC. You have one brush for volume and the other one for length. So what I'm going to do is volume first. For volume, just kind of jiggle it as close to your lash line as possible. Go ahead and do the same thing for the other eye. Using the lengthening wand now. Okay, next, what we've been waiting for is our lip. Using first the satin MAC lipstick. Don't be shy. Rub your lips together, reapply. I know a lot of people do the line first. I like to put the lipstick first just because when I'm out and reapplying the lipstick, this is where it's going to end up. Uh, okay, so now I'm using the mirror that I've got again. First I'm going to line my lower lip. I'm going to go a little bit on the outside of my lips, so not by much. There's your natural lip line, and you can see in the middle here, in the cleft of my lip, the lipstick has gone up just a little bit. So I'm going to follow that margin and go a little bit over to maintain the shape that my lips naturally have, and just to enhance them a little bit too. That's one side. Okay, there you go. This is just your look with the mulberry lips. 
Well, I don't think it's too intense for day wear. You've obviously got to be a bold personality to want to rock bold lips. Um, it looks pretty good. I like this look. I like dark lips. I'm just going to go now and make my eyes a little bit I don't know what word I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the espresso again and just line the top of my eye a little bit thicker. You can go ahead and retrace that bottom lash line. Also make it a little bit darker if you'd like. A matte blush. The color is called Melba. I'm going to go ahead and grab an angled angled brush. So I'm going to make a fishy face and uh, just drag that along the underside of my cheekbones. And we're just going to blend this in circles. I like this color because it has a bit of a, well, it's kind of like a pinky coral color. And I don't know, I could probably just keep going. This is my mulberry look. I hope you like it. Subscribe to my channel. There will be more. And it won't be as rambly as this one, I promise.